All right, so we are here at the Classic Game Junkie. This is their newest location. I do intend on going to the old location, but this is the first time I'm going here. I've been to Pennsylvania for four years now. Every year I go to too many games, and every time I go, Classic Game Junkie's always talked about. Obviously with the Game Chasers, that's one of the iconic stores, and we're going to the next store afterwards in a separate video, the iconic location. But this one was on the way. They also had a, a RetroWare Arcade. Those are actually the people that do the Too Many Games convention. So I had no idea they had their own little store. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what to expect. I'm hoping not to spend really much money at all. I'm curious to see if these stores are gonna be interesting for like the Switch game since that's obviously what we do. Let's go inside and check this out. Oh, look at this. Got a whole nice thing, or a big Sonic statue right there. Anything, oh, yep, they got, uh, hold on, I know my Fallout. This is Vault Boy. Yes, that's what it is. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen a Vault Boy statue, let alone one that big. So many cool stuff there. Let's go inside now. the Nintendo Switch games. Nothing, nothing too crazy that I'm seeing for the Switch games. I got a decent selection. Uh, you know, most of the time that I've been in these type of stores, they don't really care about the Switch. It's very rare that you find a place that has such a big Switch collection. And this definitely has a bigger collection than I expected. Is there anything that I'm gonna buy? That's the question. Has been Heroes. Fun fact, this is actually a GameStop exclusive game. GameStop owns the company that made this. I think they put them out of business, I'm pretty sure. So you won't see those guys anymore. Just Die Already, that's an interesting title for a video game. Ooh, okay, hopefully this is actually a pretty good price. Red Dead Redemption. Now, I own this game digitally. I bought it for the video because for whatever reason they had Red Dead Redemption come out like two months early digitally rather than the physical copy. I hate when video games do that. They announce it, wait, oh my gosh. Gold Mega Man, that's the last amiibo I need. And it's $90, Never mind. My rule is I've bought every amiibo at retail price and I have one Smash Bros amiibo left to buy. The last one to buy is Gold Mega Man. I can't break my rule. I feel like it'd be cool to say that I bought every Amiibo at retail price because the Amiibos were so hard to get back in the day, uh, but still pretty cool to see. Maybe someday I'll get this. What was I saying about this? Oh yeah, games come out early digitally instead of the physical copy. 40 bucks, I, I still think I wanna wait till it's like a $20 game just cause I already own the game. Doesn't make sense to pick that up. Wow, oh, this is one you don't see every day. They got the SNK collection right here. Uh, I don't know if that's a rare Switch game or not. It's definitely something I've not seen often. So that's pretty cool. And this is another one you don't see pretty often. The Sega Genesis Classics Edition. Uh, I know Sega has always come out with a collection like this. I don't know what's the true definitive one out there. I think this is the only one the Switch got. But it feels like every other console, they release like two versions of that. And I don't know if there's actually any benefits to owning this. If you have the Sega Genesis, uh, what's it called, with the Switch Online. You can play Sega Genesis games now with the Switch Online service. Never seen this one before. It's an interesting cover art. This, I might get. I've never seen something like this before. I see another game here that I've never heard of. Spark Light. I don't know, looking from the back of the case, doesn't look like I'm gonna have that much fun with it. But this one, I think I might look into getting that one. 
35 bucks. I'm gonna look online, make sure I'm not overpaying. Uh, we found the uh, Elon Musk game, Tesla. I'm joking, it's not a Tesla game, but I saw the word Tesla and I thought that was pretty funny. Don't know what that one is. Uh, let's see, this one's 15 bucks. Doesn't look very fun, so we're gonna put it back where I saw it. Oh, and then the, uh, the Wasteland 2. I think I've heard of this game before. 17 bucks, eh, I don't know. Since I have no knowledge of it, I don't think it's worth spending that much money onto it. Oh, and then they have this right here. The uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5 Steelbook. Now this has three different versions. There's Vengeance, there's the Standard Edition, and the Standard Edition had Steelbook release, and then like a regular Switch copy where it wasn't a Steelbook. One of those is gonna be valuable uh, because you can no longer buy this version of the game since Vengeance is kind of like the Persona for a Golden out of there. Um, so one of those is gonna be a Rare Switch game. We talked about that in our last Rare Switch games video. But this, I don't know. We're gonna hold on to it. We're gonna look around the store, see if I can find anything super cool. But that's the Switch games. They got some new Switch games over here. But uh, nothing, nothing too crazy. You got the, the plushes, your typical stuff that you'll see. They're supposed to be, oh yeah, this right here. I don't know, I kind of want to get that, but not for 30 bucks. Oh, look at this. Ah, $33, I don't know if I can do that, but still pretty cool. What did you guys do with them? Uh, they're, they're called Turoks, I think, right? Oh man, I'm, I'm not looking like a Zelda fan right now. I remember all the memes when the Tears of the Kingdom came out, everyone doing crazy things with them. Nothing too crazy, just your typical, you know, cups, PlayStation, more plushes, nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, I, I'm not an Xbox guy, so Xbox 360. I do think the 360 is majorly underrated. I think in the console wars against Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I think Xbox 360 won that. That might be a hot take, but me personally, I feel like the Xbox 360 had so many more memorable games. Uh, PlayStation 3 had a few exclusives like Uncharted. I love Uncharted and I love Last of Us, but I just feel like everything was played better on the 360. PS3, uh, speaking of PS3, Uncharted right here. The Uncharted series, phenomenal, love that series. I don't know when this is coming out, but the Southeast Game Exchange is going to be a few weeks and they have the voice of Nathan Drake himself being there, uh, Nolan North, so that's gonna be really cool. Uh, PlayStation 1, if my grandpa was here, he probably would like a lot of these titles. Uh, he owns the first two Crash Bandicoot games on his PlayStation 1. We played those a lot when I was at his house. Sega Genesis, NES, I uh, got loose DS games over here. Uh, looks like 3DS games, DS. At some point, I think I want to go for a full first party 3DS set. I see they got some of those DS games right here, but that's gonna be the future. I don't really care about the regular DS, I don't think. Uh, PSP, it looks like Vita is over here too. Small selection of Vita. I know it's hard to keep Vita games in stock though, but I would say out of every video game store I've been to, this might be the smallest selection I've seen when it comes to PS Vita games. Oh, actually, there's a lot of import stuff at the top here. Uh, Famicom games. Obviously, the NES was called the Famicom over there in Japan. That's pretty cool. I've not really seen much of that before. That That's unique right there. Let's see what else we got going. Uh, game Boy. Okay, I've recently just got my Game Boy fixed. Uh, I don't want to spend money on games right now. The Too Many Games convention is tomorrow. That Those videos will already be out by the time this comes out. So I'm really trying to save my money for that. Uh, I think I'm okay spending $35 here with this. Because you, you just don't see this every day. Oh, this is pretty cool. Okay, we're back at the 3DS games. Cartoon Network Punch Time Explosion. This is when uh, Cartoon Network saw Super Smash Brothers and wanted to make their own Super Smash Brothers. 20 bucks. I kind of want to get that. Cause I, I don't I don't own this. I own it on the Wii. 
I'll just play it on my Wii. I don't need to own it on the 3DS. We're okay. That, that'll be down the road. I'll, I'll get more 3DS titles down the road. That's pretty cool, though. You don't see that every day. Nothing too crazy that I'm seeing for the Game Boy, though. Not anything that's like, ooh, I want to have this. The main thing I'm looking for, really, for the Game Boy right now is probably going to be uh, Sonic Battle. Very interested in trying to play that one right now. All right. They got your uh, anime thinkerines over there. Got a few Funko Pops, you know. Store's not too crazy about Funko Pops. That's pretty cool. There's been so many stores out there that focus so much on Funko Pops. So it's cool to see some stores out there just focusing solely on video games. Dreamcast, shout out to my friend Ty. He would love all these Dreamcast games. Got the GameCube right here. Oh, look, a boxing game. Got Lennox Lewis on the cover. I know none of you guys care about boxing, but I just wanted to flex my boxing knowledge that I knew who that was on the cover. Uh, what else? Oh, wow. This is a very uncommon game right here. Dragon Layers 3D for the GameCube. You know, I might not know too much about the GameCube, but I know that's an uncommon game. Don't see that one every day. I want to one day get into the GameCube, but no. Uh, N64 stuff right here. Uh, Super Nintendo, nothing too crazy. If you're wondering, I, I, we're using our new microphone right now, but in case it's heard in the audio, next door they have an arcade. I think we already talked about that in the opening. But, oh yeah, they have a few more games on this side. Got a lot of Wii stuff. A lot of Wii stuff. This is, wow, this whole thing is Wii right here. And on the Wii U too. And then over here, more Wii stuff. Really cool. Super Mario Galaxy. Such a good game. I change my mind every day if I think Mario Galaxy 1's better than 2, I don't know. And then 3D World, I love 3D World. Both games are great. PlayStation 2 games are over here. Got some more PlayStation 2. I'm surprised to see the sudden interest in Ultimate Spider-Man right now. I know a lot of people are going to be like, Max, why are you looking at PlayStation 2 games? My first console was a PlayStation 2. That's probably going to shock a lot of people. The only reason why I have a PlayStation 2 because people are probably going to be like, Max, you're such a Nintendo fan. Your first console you played was a Nintendo console. My first console was a GameCube, in case people are curious. The only reason why I ended up with a PS2 instead of a Nintendo GameCube is my sister didn't know what a Nintendo GameCube was. So when I asked for a gaming console as a kid, her immediate thing was, oh, PlayStation 2. So that is the reason why I ended up with a PlayStation 2. But I still love my PlayStation 2. I just wanted to give you guys that knowledge in case you're like, wow. Why did he end up with a PlayStation 2 first? I think the PS2 has the strongest library. I think it has like 1,800 games. So that system lasted a very long time. Xbox games, we, we don't care. More Zelda stuff over here. Original Xbox. The more higher end title games right here. The stuff that's more rare, uncommon. Uh, this is pretty cool to see. No, it's not Switch related, but Superman 64 complete in box. That's pretty cool. If you guys don't know, Superman 64 is considered one of, if not the worst video game of all time. We got more stuff over there. More rare stuff. Don't think they have any cooler Switch games over there, unfortunately, from what I'm seeing. Uh, anything else? Oh, whoa. Whoa. Whoa, PlayStation sneakers, one of 10 released. Look at that, they're Air Jordans, oh my gosh. I don't even wanna ask the price because I, I know that that's going to be ridiculously priced. Oh my gosh. Oh, more Game Boy Advance. Oh, this is cool. They have a bunch of the Pokemon hacks right here that you can buy. You don't see that every day, someone selling Pokemon hacks. That is cool. And then you got some more games over here, PS Vita. So, okay, they have a stronger library than I thought, than what we saw earlier over there. Mother 3 on the Game Boy Advance right there. Okay, you don't see that up. Yep, anime. Oh, look at that Crash Bandicoot. We just bought that for $25 the other day at a video game store. If you didn't see that video, a lot of people love that video. That's the one my grandpa's in. More Dreamcast stuff. You got... Shinmu right there. That's pretty cool. I, I still can't believe that hasn't come out on a Nintendo console. It, it, to me, it makes sense to put that on the Switch or something. A Sega Saturn stuff. 
and then controllers nothing too crazy on the controller scene over here we're gonna go over here because it looks like they're doing a trade right now we don't want to interrupt the businesses because we are their guests you know everyone's probably thinking oh max probably just goes in there interrupts the business and all that no you see right there i just walked off i didn't do anything all right over here is the new released titles over here nothing too crazy uh just your normal stuff you would see nothing that i'm like oh so cool it's just your normal stuff over here it looks like they got some oh they do have a few higher end switch games i see they got minecraft story mode over there for 80 bucks that's about how much it goes for i don't see anything else over here that i'm like Ooh, so cool one thing i would say it's kind of hard to read sometimes the switch spine when they're so far away um but i don't I don't think I see anything, you know, I'll bet a lot of people think I look really weird right now having my face sideways like this, but I don't care. And then over here, it looks like they got some angry video game nerd stuff. Uh, obviously, I guess since we're right here at the Retroware place, they have some sort of connection to uh, angry video game nerd. I think that's his management company. I think I might be wrong about that. So they are obviously going to sell the stuff since they have a Retroware store right over there. Uh, and then Gotcha Pawn Station, we were over here. Oh, that's kind of cool. They made their little station to where you can get a random Switch, or not Switch game, random DS game for $2.50. That's something I would probably do if I was a big fan of the DS. Luckily, for my sake, I am not a big fan of the DS. I mean, the DS was great, just not something I'm collecting for right now. They have this Mario Kart statue. Look at that. That's pretty sick. I don't have a Mario statue. Should I buy the Mario statue? <laughs> no, I'm not buying the Mario statue. That's $130. We'll stick to my $35 that I've spent so far at the store. And then there's more stuff over here. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I haven't really spent much money here. We are going to the next location, which probably has more stuff since it's the original location, but got your handhelds. Uh, don't show the TV because that's going to let the camera look. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. D just don't show this TV. Look at that TV. A PlayStation TV right there. You don't see that every day. I'll let you get in front of me. That is extremely uncommon. Now, you guys in the chat will have to let me know what makes that so special, the PlayStation TV. I think I might be wrong. I think that it has a PlayStation 3 built into it where you can put the disc on the side of the TV, which is pretty unique and different. I think that's the only thing special about the PlayStation TV. You guys in the comments will have to let me know on that one. And then more import stuff, nothing too crazy over here. Nothing that I am like, oh, wow, must own. Oh, you don't see that every day, a Game & Watch Mickey Mouse. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, actually, speaking of too many games, it's right here. Too many games is tomorrow. I'm, I'm very happy I've only spent $35. And speaking of angry video game nerd, there's one of his posters right there, signed. So his presence has definitely been here. Oh, and then they have a bunch of cool signs up top. You don't see those every day. PlayStation. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pick up this game. That way I don't leave empty handed here. And um, yeah, I've never seen this before. It came out in 2020. What an interesting year that was for everyone. All right, we just left the building, picked up my game right here. 35 bucks spent at the store. I'm happy with that. And we're gonna end the video off with Sonic right here. Obviously there's Mario, but that Mario poster is pretty sun faded. So we got the Sonic statue right here that we're ending it off with. Make sure to backslash that subscribe button, like the video, check out all our awesome video game hunting videos from Too Many Games, because that had already been coming out when uh, this comes out, whenever this does come out. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the very next video. Make sure to backslash that subscribe button, like the video, check out the Twitter, check out the Instagram, check out the Discord server, become a Monado Marine, five bucks a month. And yeah, I think I covered everything. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.